Hey everybody, this is AYG's Alpha Team here with another video for the division. This video is going to be about my Reclaimer build for 1.6.1. It's pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and get in it. I'm going to go over the build itself and then I'll have some gameplay footage towards the end. I'll timestamp everything so you can take a look. We are going with the four part Reclaimer with the two part high end. The two part high end is going to be probably what you've guessed. We'll go over everything in a second. Weapons are going to be pretty much what you want, but I'll go over what I have too. We're going to start right here with the chest piece. Vigorous chest piece, of course, for the overheal. With the Reclaimer, we'll have a lot of overheal all the time, so this is totally going to work out in our favor. That's why we went with health and skill haste here. Ideally, you want to get a minor attribute as ammo capacity, so keep an eye out for that. Now, if you look, well, you can see our toughness isn't very high, but we don't really ever have to worry about that because we'll be in our box for the most part all the time. And we'll go over that in a second as well. Roll for electronics. We're going electronics on everything except one piece, which we're doing into firearms because we want to have a little bit of firepower. All of our mods are going to be electronic skill power. And our performance mods are going to be support station range. Again, we'll go over all that. Next piece is the mask. Reclaimer mask for electronics and skill power with some burn resistance. Ideally, you want to get as much resistance to everything as you can. I like to try and spec into burn resistance the most. Highest electronics you can get. And before I forget, let's go over those set bonuses. 30% support station range, 50% support station duration. Four part reclaimer gives you all the benefits of every support station they offer. Life support, immunization, ammo, cash mods, all working great and all at the same time. It is a great build to go with. And again, like I said, we want to get as high as electronics as we possibly can. That's why we're going skill power here. Next up is the Reclaimer Braces. We've got rolled for electronics. We've got increased kill speed, disrupt, and disoriented. Ideally, you want these shock, bleed, and burn, but this is just what we got. Rolled for health. Now, even though we are trying to build a skill build, we do need a little bit of health. So that's why we're going with health here. Again, electronic skill power and support station range for our performance mod. You can go range or you can go healing speed. I prefer range, and I'll go over that all during the gameplay footage. Backpack is going to be inventive backpack with skill power. Increase skill power by 15% while at full health. Now, because we have the vigorous chest piece and because we're going to be sitting in our support station the most, most of the time, we will have overheal for the most part all the time. And... It gives us that much more skill power while we're in the box. Support station healing speed right here. Again, you can go with range or healing speed. Really your call. I prefer range because the healing speed, in my opinion, isn't that big of a difference. Next up, we've got the Reclaimer Gloves. Electronics with enemy armor damage, skill haste, and critical hit damage. Now we are, the things that are going to be the most beneficial here are going to be the skill haste and the crit damage. We don't really spec too much into skill haste because we don't need our box to be coming back every two seconds. We want it to be more powerful than anything. That's why we're going with skill power. It is good to have some skill haste here though, just because it's one of the things you can roll. And the crit damage will go over with the weapons. Next up is the holster. 1250s and up is ideal. Uh, this one is rolled for health. You can go skill haste here, but like I said, we do need a little bit of health, so we're not completely getting wasted away. Support station healing speed here. Again, for the performance mod. And because with this vigorous chest piece, we'll be in overheal, we'll be able to take full advantage of that inventive backpack as well. Just an all-around good setup because you're going to be at full health for a lot of the time while you're in your support station, which is awesome. And the reason we went with that one piece of firearms is because we want to be able to be viable in a firefight as well. That's why we're going with the Caduceus and the Navy MP5. The Caduceus to kind of support ourselves a little bit more with the healer build. We are going to be a healer, so we are expected to heal our team and ourselves. 
That's why we're going with this Caduceus with Deadly. Self-preserve, Deadly, and the Caduceus roll, of course, which is um, every time you hit someone with a crit, it deals 1% of your skill power as healing to you and your team. Now, the self-preserve is blanked out because I'm also using this for another build, but this is the one that's important. Can only heal each player once every 0 0.20 seconds. Super effective. It is a good heal alternative. <coughs> Excuse me, alternative. And we're specced all the way for crit damage because with our high skill power, we're going to have our talents modded out for crit damage, and you'll see that in a second too. Good all-around choice. You can go with... You can pretty, pretty much go with any weapon you want. I'm choosing these two. You know, these are what work for me. Navy MP5 with Deadly, Competent, and Vicious. Getting that Competent because we know we're going to be using our talents a lot. Also the Deadly because we want to spec as much into crit damage as we can. And I'll, like I said, I'll go over that in a second. And all of our weapon mods are also going to be for crit damage as well. I'm using the Navy MP5 because it's effective. I like it. It works for me. You can see here we're going with crit damage for our mods. Again, we want crit damage because we're going to be getting a lot of criticals. And like I said, the Caduceus is a choice of mine. You can go with anything you want, whatever works for you. ACR, LVOAC, light machine gun even wouldn't be a bad choice. Pick with what works for you. Just make sure you're specking into crit damage for the rest of the slowdown. And the reason we're going to crit damage is because we're going to be using the support station, of course, with a huge range, good healing rate. Lifetime is 126 seconds, two minutes. And the cooldown is only 20 seconds. Well, like I said, we're not specced into skill haste because we don't need it with this build. We just need a powerful support station, not a quick support station. And that's why we went with healing speed and range. I prefer the range. I do have healing speed right here on the mods that you saw, but I prefer the range because the bigger the area to fight in, the better. Good amount of specs all around because of our skill power being so high. It is a great, great thing to have when you're using a Reclaimer for peace. And the Pulse. This is going to be our bread and butter. This is going to save us. Pulse with the Recon Pack gives you the furthest Pulse that comes back the quickest and a balanced crit chance, crit damage. 38% crit chance on and damage. Now, if you're playing in the last stand, you get maxed at, tw at 50. So you're going to be at max all the way with both your both weapons, your uh, SMGs, or anything else you're going to use, like an assault rifle or even an LMG, you're going to be getting really good crits out of it. That's why we're expecting the crit damage, because when because we're getting so many crits, we're going to take full advantage of that. Our talents are going to be tech support. Killing a hostile while the skill deployed extends its active duration by 10% and combat medic using the med kit near allies and groups, members, and proxies heals by 40%. So this is good. We want to use this just in case someone is actually targeting our support station so we can give it a little bit more heal. And we want to use death by proxy just in case, be, just in case someone tries to counter our box with a turret. Or, you know, Seekers or something. And we can destroy that tech and give ourselves even more skill power. It's a great addition to any kind of skill power that you have. We're also using Triage just to kind of get a little bit better skill cooldowns. Because we will be getting kills. Or, we'll, I'm sorry, we'll be healing allies constantly in our box. You could go with something like Battle Buddy. Critical save. Uh, maybe not Shock and Adrenaline, of course. But we're going with Combat Medic. And tech support. Those are the only two musts. Combat medic and tech combat medic and tech support are the two musts for this talent loadout. Make sure you have them both. And again, just so you can get another look. We're going with thirty eight hundred firearms. Stamina is low. Weapon damage is good. Now you don't really have to pay too much attention to the DPS because we were going to be specking so much into crit damage, and because we'll be using that pulse would be all the way into crit chance. 
So your DPS is virtually doubled if you're hitting criticals. And if you're hitting them 50% of the time, you're doing tons of damage. So that's why we've got such high crit hit damage, because we want to take advantage of that pulse. We want to stay viable while we're trying to heal. And that way we're not going down to everything. So you can see here with the Navy MP5, 32.5, that's before the pulse. The pulse will put me well over the, the cap, and we're still getting 112% crit damage. So virtually double, you're doing double damage to what a normal person that has 3,800 firearms is doing. Reload speed is 5% boost. That's good. We've got a little bit of enemy armor damage. Threat is kind of irrelevant. Skill power is good. Skill haste is still 16%, which is pretty good on top of already high electronics. It's going to work out for us. No signature skill resource game, but that's not really a big deal because of our high electronics. The skill haste is something we didn't spec for because we don't need to. Like I said, we're working on powerful, not fast. Toughness 286. Again, because with that overheal, we're going to be pretty tanky all the time. Max health is okay. Armor is above 32%. That's good. Regen's a little low, but regen is based on your overall toughness. So the lower your toughness, the lower the regen's going to be. Bleed resistance at 14%. That's not bad. Burn, 15%. Would like those to be higher, but this is just what we got with the rules that we got. The rest of the stuff's irrelevant. Four-part reclaimer, two-part high-end. It's super effective. You're going to see right now in the gameplay footage how effective. And again, that support station is key. We want to stay in it all the time. And we've got a few tips for you for gameplay. Tip number one, be a team player. Now you're going to see right here, this my team mate over here goes down. He just went down. I pick him up with my support, my uh, recovery link. This guy's got it out for him. He drops him again right now. I try and distract him. I drop the station. Now my goal right now is to keep him alive, so I'm trying to stay in the path in the line of sight between him and the guy he's shooting. He takes him down again. I finally get him down. And this entire time my box has been working on him, so he's going to be able to get right back up. Full health. All thanks to the support station. And again, team player, you're not always going to be in the best positions to do the most damage, so that's why we want to rely on our team. Now here, I'm playing with my buddy Doc. He's got a good build for firearms, and he's backing me up. I try and stay, and I know that he's going to have the more firepower, so I try and stay out of his line of fire to the enemy, so I'm hanging to the right a little bit, so I know he's always going to have a good shot on him. This guy's trying everything he can. Just take it down. He know I think he realized I'm the weaker player, and now he tries to come after me. And I let my teammate, Doc Renegade, do all the work. Get the cleanup. Again, right here, since we do have some good firepower, I try and help out. His seekers go over and take out these guys. And that's it. Alright, next tip is gonna be down doesn't mean you're out so what I mean is you're probably gonna go down but if so long as you're in your box you still have a chance to come back up you're gonna take a ton of damage all the time people are always targeting the person with the box I do my best to avoid this fire but I know that if this guy steps out he's gonna be taking turret damage and my damage finally commits we both go down my box is up he doesn't have one I know I'm gonna get up and I clean him up. Remember, down is not out here. That's the whole reason we're running Reclaimer. Now this fight, you can see we got enemies all around. This guy targets me. We trade. But I still have my box. I'm up. Take him out, and then we'll stay in the fight. Help clean up the rest of these guys that thought they were getting ahead. But luckily, the box picked me up keeps us all well healed. You can see I still have overheal this entire time. And I do take damage, but not enough to even get me down. So 
taking that box out. My teammate has like time to come around and flank this guy. Keep his fire on me. Cleans up, cleans him up. Alright, next tip is going to be, it's going to take a lot to kill you. What I mean is, you've got an over shield and a res box. I go down right here, I'm up again. Back in the fight with full health. They target me again. I go down again. Now they didn't finish me up, because some of them are on fire, and I, I don't know if they just ignored me or not, but I'm up again. They forget about me. I'm able to stop this guy from capping the point. And I try and keep myself in the fight as long as possible. You can see it's take it takes two turrets and four dudes to take me down. If you look at the map, there's four guys around me and the two turrets are up. Same thing here, we're trying to defend this base. This guy gets ahead of me a little bit. We've got guys on both sides. Take this guy out. Start taking serious damage. I don't know where it's from. I go down, but luckily I'm in cover. Again, down but not out. Back in the fight. Now, if you look right here, there's two guys, a turret, three guys now, a turret shooting at all of us. Or both of us, rather. And this is what it takes. It takes literally half their team to just take out these two guys, myself and my teammate. And because we're in the box, we don't get disturbed by any of the smoke or any of the fire. You can see they all are. Now I'm going to let the rest of these play out and you guys take a look at them. Look at the size of that support station range. Ridiculous. Take a look. Enjoy and I'll see you at the end. That's going to do it, guys. Four-part four Reclaimer. Super awesome build to have in your inventory. Definitely recommend it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more from RUGaming.com. Also, shoot us a comment if you have any questions you want to leave any feedback. Always appreciate it. Until then, go ahead. Game on. Game on! Yeah, game on!